Do I have everybody's attention now? But I feel like I would ask you guys what you guys think of some of the nominations. Anybody that you feel got snubbed this year? I have seen uh, three of the five dramas that got nominated and four of the five uh, musical or comedies that got nominated. Okay, so anybody that you feel got snubbed? Um, At least in most categories? I've, I'm looking through them just like for reference, and it, I don't think so. Huh? Like, there's no. There's nothing really. Dis this is like the first Golden Globes in a while where I wasn't really like disappointed. Like I heard peop some people say, um, like, oh, the, Go the Golden Globes suck or so and so. Like the what these nominations are so disappointed. Uh, pointing, it's like, really, they are like that every year. How is this any different? But I think the nominations this year were fine. Uh, there was one person, one one person, like pissed me off when he um, meant like. What the fuck? Meryl Streep got nominated for Into the Woods? Huh? And it's like, yeah, because she, well, one, she's Meryl Streep. Huh? And also, she's that good in the movie. Oh, she is? Oh, I forgot you've seen it. Yeah. Um, so I'm yeah, going to throw out some I'm gonna throw out some things here that people have... Uh, like, I, I looked up some of the snubs. Um, so, some movie snubs that people threw in here were Interstellar? No? no. Alright. Well, uh, I would say uh, it's... I mean, maybe for original score, but I, but I think it was nominated for that. It was only nominated for score, nothing else. Okay, so then it was fine. <laughs> okay, how about you guys? I don't know. Um, uh, I, I'm fine. Have any of you guys seen the Angelina Jolie movie Unbroken? No, but Not I'm yet. very excited about it. I, I have one. a. I, I think I got a screener for it, so I might be watching it this coming weekend. All right, nice. sweet. So people said that that got snubbed. Um, some other ones were uh, Channing Tatum for Foxcatcher. I haven't seen Foxcatcher. It's coming uh, to my theater next week. Um, I saw the... I saw Foxcatcher and he, he was good, but I don't think he was really like outstanding. Like there was All nothing right. about his performance that was memorable, unlike that creepy as fuck Steve Carell. <laughs> um, yeah. So Ben Affleck for Gone Girl. He's he's Ben Affleck. I mean, I mean, I think he had a great performance, but I'm not sure who you kick out a Best Actor for drama to replace him. Well, also, well, also. Um, What's his name? Uh, the 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 movie itself, Gone Girl, didn't get a Golden Globe nomination. Oh crap! I just, I just noticed that. Holy shit! Yeah, dude, that's interesting. But Which, again, uh, I, ha I haven't seen the, any of these movies, so I don't. I can't wasn't it say. nominated for best director? Yeah, uh, it was nominated for uh, for a best director. Uh, director yeah, and not, uh, best lead best lead actress. It was it was nominated for best lead actress, best director, best screenplay, and best original score, which. But no picture. I, I'm never, I'm never, not that crazy about uh, when Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross do music. It really? just seems like, I guess the big irritating thing about it, about, I, I think their scores are good, but what irritated me is when they won their Oscar for the Social Network, which, that score was just pretty much like tones. Huh? It was like, it was more experimental, which, I think was a damn shame because like in terms of like. Scores that sound like that. Tron Legacy had the better one. Like that one was more oh. creative. Um, some oh. other snubs. Are, I have a snub. Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, I think that How to Train a Dragon 2 should have been nominated for the best original score because that's still my favorite score of the year. Oh, that is a really good score. I and it was not nominated for. It. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know scores like that, but I do remember loving that score. I would say I'm I'm actually okay with that because its score is not that different from. The first one? Uh, the last movie, which did get a nomination, so... I respect it's... that. I respect that. Okay. Um, I mean, okay, like, so... if it was... I, I'm sorry to interrupt again, but if okay. it was something okay. like, um... Like, like if you take the first three Star Wars movies, each of them got their own nomination because they had different themes, and... They, granted, they sound the same, but they had different themes um, for each movie, so... And Hunter think... Dragon 2 didn't really have that many different themes from the first one. Uh, kind of. I I've listened to them back to back, and they have the same, like, 20 seconds. Uh, da -da 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 -da. They have that, but then for the most part, everything else was a different song. Mm. It was just, like, the same, like, how Star Wars has their its theme. Lord of the Rings has its, like, catchy theme. I they, they kept the same theme because it's the same franchise, but I thought the, but the rest of it was pretty different. Now Having not seen Birdman, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Into the Woods, Pride, or St. Vincent, like I said before, I am shocked that with all the praise that Top 5 is getting, it got snubbed. Um, and another one that I really did enjoy, a movie that I really liked a lot, that um, 
not gonna say it got snubbed, but I see it on this list as um Begin Again, which is the Keira Knightley Mark Ruffalo movie, uh-huh. which I, oh, I enjoyed. Yeah. I enjoyed that movie as a musical comedy, and I wouldn't have minded it because the music in that movie is really fucking good to me. Yeah, you um, you know what I think the problem is? It's because I like the movie too, but I think the problem was that it came out uh, too early. It, yeah, it came, came out, out in the summer. summer. So yeah, it was like May. It was it was like end. Well, it, it, it went it went wide in June. But it yeah, was weird. Okay. It was just like why? Yeah, but it was a really good movie, and um, it was just a nice uh, breather here. Um, and plus, yeah. well, I would like to mention also that Boyhood came out in the summer also, but I think that that got stuck a lot. With that, got like, that got like a lot of praise though. Like yeah, so that that though. stuck with people more than Begin Again did. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So no snubs. Um. Some major. I mean, no surprises really. I've heard Julianne Moore was really good, and that's still Alice movie. I think yeah. Roseman Roseman Pike is probably gonna win. I have a feeling that she will because that role that she did was creepy as fuck. Yeah, that, that that's a great. it's a role that made me look at her character and go, yeah. that is a bitch right there. Seriously, no disrespect, but I'm I agree with you. That was like it she, was like I, I feel like she's gonna win. I haven't seen was, the other movies, but well, is Felicity Jones any? I know that I saw your review for uh, the Theory of Everything. Um, oh, she she's fantastic, huh? okay. but um, oh, this is a tough one. Uh, I I'm going. I haven't seen I. I had a chance to see Wild today, but um, for some reason I couldn't make the screening. So okay. uh-huh. between Felicity Jones and uh, Rosamund Pike, I think Rosamund Pike left more of an impression on me. Like just this creepy Hitchcockian character that well, just like like that. does so little but manages to get under your skin and make you go, ugh. The way that I look at it, um, Reese Witherspoon has one. Julianne Moore has one. Um, so I'm, th- I'm thinking there's gonna be a three woman race with this, and I think Ro- Rosamund Rosamund Pike. I don't know. I just, I just have a feeling she's got like that performance was insane. Um, for best actor we have, I'm thinking again. I haven't seen the other ones. Um, mm-hmm. I know Alexander, you love the Eddie Redmayne main guy. Um, and the theory, everything you think he did a phenomenal job, right? Correct. Yeah, but um, uh, but that being said, I liked Jake Gyllenhaal's character in Nightcrawler better. Yeah, that, right, that, that that's movie. my that's, pick. That's what that that's the one that I would yeah. pick. Um, I know I'm Dylan. You just I, saw it today. I think that Gyllen or yeah, I think that Gyllenhaal had the best performance that I've seen of the year. Now, I, I haven't seen Foxcatcher, so I don't know how creepy Steve Carell is. So he he's pretty fucking uh, almost like like Rosamund Pike, uh, like a Hitchcockian villain. Huh? Mm-hmm. Just like so little, but. Does so little, but ends up being just so fucking creepy. Okay. Uh, right. I, I know. Other... Well, uh-huh. I know Phil is uh, beating his head over the fact that Benedict Cumberbatch is in this category. I want to see that movie though, The Imitation Game with Kurt I want to see that. Um, I got a screener uh-huh. for it, so during this holiday break, I'm gonna be watching movies. Um, I am gonna mention. I mean, there's some other people here. We got Best Supporting. Um, no real surprises here, I think. Um, Edward Norton, I heard, was really good. Uh-huh. Um, we got... Oh, yeah. Um, but these are these are for best support and an, an actor and motion picture in general. So we got yeah. um, Robert Duvall, Ethan Hawke, Mark Ruffalo, and J.K. Simmons. That's a fucking... This, this is uh, J.K. Simmons to lose. You think so? Oh, I haven't seen Whiplash. Yeah. He, I think... He was phenomenal. Yeah, I think he'll... I think he's gonna take it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you thought that uh, J. Jonah Jameson was a pain in the ass, which, like, well, well, J. Jonah Jameson was a lovable pain in the ass. Uh, this was so he, that the, pain in the ass. Is he that almost has no redeeming quality in this movie? Almost. Pretty much. Uh, okay. I mean, this is like uh, J. K. Simmons ties with him. Really? Oh, yeah. With his like, with his motive. I didn't think so because with J. K. Simmons' character, he was the pain in the ass who. You wanted to take in the alley, grab a crowbar, beat the living fuck out of him, and oh, then yeah. shove it up his ass once it was all done, no? and leave him for dead. And leave him. And leave him like, that's the kind of character. That, so he did a great job then. What you're saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because he's a nice guy in real life. I've seen interviews and I've seen him in other shows. And he's awesome. So he's nice. And, yeah, he um, was. He uh, when I saw Foxcatcher, he was at the Q and A. Oh, cool. Oh. Um. All right. So best animated film: How to Train Your Dragon, The Lego Movie, Big Hero Six, Box Shows, and The Book of Life. Um, it looks like they nominated everything, <laughs> like all five. Uh, penguins did not get in. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no penguins. Um, uh, or Lego vignette job. I'm assuming the Lego movie will take this. 
I would pick out yeah. Dragon too, but I think Lego Movie's gonna take it. So I I, I would agree. I think it might take it too. Uh, um, I, I other, love the Lego Movie. Yeah, that'd be a great movie. Um, any other like big things? I mean, we have director, we have screenplay. Um, David Fincher, respects for getting that movie. Um, I would like to see, from what I've heard, the um, director of Birdman did a phenomenal job, and even the boyhood yeah. director. I think uh, Richard. I I want Richard Linklater to take it because it was such a big task to just make this movie over the course of twelve years. That 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 kind of automatically should get him the award. I think that this award's gonna go down to between Linklater and the Birdman guy. I forgot what his name. Alejandro is. Gonzala. I, I can't pronounce his last name. name. Yeah, okay. Nah, yeah, well, I, I, because the bird, because Birdman was shot in like twenty, thirty days, and it's full of yeah. like nine, ten minute takes, and it, it's all filmed to look like one shot. So the so the directing and that was great, and yeah. then Link later had the other extreme of doing it over twelve I mean, years, having to plan out everything. The one thing well, about this is that uh, the Alejandro guy, he um, he's his, one of his films has already won Best Picture, and that was Babel. Best so. Babel didn't win Best Picture. Ba- Babel won. Babel oh, it's the Golden Globes. Babel split the year. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't remember. Let me see if I'm right. I, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I know it didn't win the Oscar, but I'm not. Sh- I don't know if it won the Golden Globe or not. That yeah, might be off, but I, I thought that Babel might have split the year that it was. But see, the reason I would pick uh, Linkletter over Gonzala Gonzalez in a Ruto. Sorry, I tried the best I could. Is because um, is because. It's it's impressive that uh, he shot Birdman over that course of time and with um, uh, nine what was it nine ten minute shots? Yeah, it, yeah, th- that's really impressive. If Alfred Hitchcock didn't beat him to the punch uh, with so. rope back uh, in 1948, so did you hear that, that the director of Birdman actually actually hates the comparison of a Birdman to that movie because because he thinks that that movie's really bad. Well, that, that's his loss because Rope is phenomenal. I haven't seen that. Um, yeah, so he he did win um the Golden Globe for best motion picture for Babel. Um, he oh, he got right. nominated for uh he got nominated for um best uh, for the Oscars but didn't win for both picture and director. Um, right, so, yeah, so I, remember, again, I, remember, I remember it split though. Again, my pick is Linkletter. For, All right. Yeah, um, any other big nominations? I'm not sure if you guys want to go into TV because I don't think you guys watch TV like that and. It won't uh, be too many I guess the only thing I'll say about uh, best series for drama is now that Breaking Bad's gone, just give it to Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, I think that a uh, true, de- true uh, detective will probably take it. No, no it it's, won't. Not it's not. In the, it's not in that it's, category. It's in it's a, in, they, they did it smart this time. They fucking last time they they threw themselves in, for the um for the Emmys. They oh, they're in different categories. Okay. For, for, for the Emmys, miniseries. For the Emmy, they threw themselves in this category and fucking lost. This time they were like. Let's just be a manic series because they'll, they'll win that. Um, well, I think I think yeah. the Emmys and the I think the Emmy Academy and the Hollywood Foreign Press have different regulations. Like, no, yeah, but uh, they personally went into that. They, right, like, but you submitted it and they went into the fucking best series. They could have gone into miniseries and they would have. Oh, won. you mean Cause, you mean cause, for the Emmys they submitted it for best miniseries but got into series? No, they submitted it best for best series in general instead of submitting it for best miniseries. Because okay. Fargo is the same way. And if they would have gone in the same category as Fargo, they would have won. They lost because they went in the same category as Breaking Bad. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Okay. Like, um, it's like you knew, you knew Breaking Bad was going to yeah, win. Like, what no, you, you do not go into the same category as Breaking Bad. That is just suicide. Right. So, so um, they're like, okay, we, we don't go in the same category as Game of Thrones. Yeah, but so other than that, I have world. nothing else to say about the TV category. Um, uh, it's nice for many series, I'm still going Fargo. Not being nominated for Best TV Comedy. Yeah, that's that's a whole other issue. For with what? That, but, uh, for Big best Bang TV commentary or best TV comedy. Big Bang, Big Bang Theory is not no- nominated. Yeah. It's not or, or, or Modern yeah. Family. Well, it's not the em- it's not the Emmys. Well, well, first, well, I'm glad for Big Bang Theory, but Modern Family is still good. Yeah, I, like I love Modern it. Um, I so watch a few episodes. I'm gonna say some things. I'm happy that Silicon Valley got nominated. That's a great show. That's a great series. It's freaking entourage for like nerdy people. It's amazing. Love it. Um, I I watched I watched a few episodes of it and I really couldn't huh? get into the show for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I love I love Entourage and this just reminds me of it so much. Uh, all, Jane the Virgin, which is a CW show, awesome for that that they get nominated. It's a CW show and that nominated. Yeah, so I shocking. I saw I watched some episodes of that and that's okay. for some reason like it, it's it's like 
the show it's cut like the kind of show I would hate like like CW but you, but you like her the main actress is so fucking likable I think that's oh, what it is about her oh totally yeah I like her she's um so that's cool I think Orange is the New Black will probably take it again maybe girls maybe uh yeah. we got well, um pro- 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 probably be Orange if I were yeah, asking maybe. Okay. um for best miniseries I'm pretty sure to go to Detective I will pick Fargo that's my favorite TV series of the year so far, I believe. Um, and then we got Woody Harrelson, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, we got, you're, you know, you're, McConaughey will win this because he won the Emmy. It'd be shocking if he loses this. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He didn't win the Emmy. He didn't yeah. win the Emmy. That was a Brian Cranston. Everyone expected oh, him to win the Emmy, yeah. but then Brian Cranston won because yeah. it was his final season. He won. McConaughey won everything else leading up to the Emmy. Yeah. All right, so... Um, yeah, so I'm sure he'll get this, um, but I, I I would go with Fargo. I think Fargo is amazing. I mean, I just find that funny that two it's the top two people in Fargo and the top two people in True Detective are both nominated here. I think it's in the same category. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say. There's nothing really else. Um, there's a lot of TV shows that people watch. Some of them are popular, some of them aren't. aren't. Um, Game of Thrones is not gonna win. Um, I think it will. I think uh, House of Cards will take it, or um, Downtown Abbey, or The Good Wife, or something else. Game of Thrones won't win. It's too popular. That's yeah, I also uh, because that makes sense. Well, no, if this is for season four, I'd say the season four finale wasn't that good. So it had some good that, moments. So, so I, I, like, I like the ending of season four. Season I think four they just five. screwed up the, 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 uh, the uh, next season's five. Last season was four. Well, I, 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 yeah. I just think they screwed up the ending because they, they changed some things from the books that make no sense to change, and they and it could have been like ten times better. I don't. I don't, really I don't think that. I don't think that would really affect anything because, again, there there has to be that thing where you gotta take it as a series. You can't well, compare it. Mm-hmm. In this um in this thing, this article that I'm reading by uh C- Boston Boston Herald, they put that the surprises that get nominated were Game of Thrones. They're surprised they got nominated. Uh, they're surprised that the girl from Annie got nominated. Um, of course, the snub, which is shocking because I thought uh. Um, Peter Dinklage had one of the best moments in TV. Oh yeah, he was snubbed. Yeah, um, yeah. I just, I just shocking. Monologue. Yeah, that monologue was amazing. I'm so I'm shocked he didn't make it. Um, yeah. Sherlock was snubbed. Homeland was snubbed. The Walking Dead doesn't surprise me that it was snubbed. I just don't think it's that good anymore. <laughs> no, I just don't think it's. I don't yeah, think it's no. that good anymore. I think it's okay. I would not, agree. It's not as bad as it used to. As a season two or season three or four were, but it's just not worth it. Mm-hmm. And. I guess we can move on um, to some yeah, really before, well, crazy news. The last thing I'll say about the TV nominations is I would just give Go- uh, Game of Thrones the award just for finally killing Joffrey. Spoilers, was that, man. Wait, was that, was that the beginning of the season? That was episode two. Okay, that's what I'm sure. Yeah, spoilers. If you if if you didn't if you were managed to stay away from the internet for like months on end, yeah, Joffrey's dead. Yeah. Um, Thank God. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the again, this is this is this is not like the Oscars or like the Emmys. This is kind of like the second tier stuff, but it's still cool. People still go. This is the more fun um, party because everybody gets drunk and says yeah. shit on stage. So yeah, it's not um, that credible. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Like like um, I think I was gonna say you can buy your way to the top, right? Isn't that the main thing about this thing? Pretty much, because the way <laughs> the way I I kid you not, the way um Burlesque got its nominations was. I didn't um, know that was nominated. The I'm studio, sorry. the I'm studio. Pretty... Now, I think this was actually true. The studio invited members of the Hollywood Foreign Press to a free trip to Las Vegas, <laughs> just in exchange for a nomination. I'm not gonna lie though, because I heard a rumor a couple years ago that movie that Johnny Depp did with Angelina Jolie. Oh, uh, the oh. the tourist. I they heard that the, I heard that the rumor for that was that they nominate that movie so that Jolie and Depp would go. I was mm-hmm. like, huh? I didn't. I wasn't really like buying it, but that it might make sense though, because they weren't gonna go if they were nominated. Why would they fucking show up? Um. All right. So, well, what happened? Well, Anything um, else we move on? No, we can move on. 